Hi, I'm Noel, president and co-creator of Spokestack. Let's make a personal keyword recognizer together. From your account page, click Keyword. You'll see the keyword recognizer models available to you in the spotlight. You can test them out from here. Click Start Test and say one of the keywords. But that's not why we're here. Let's make one of our own. Click Create Model at the top. We're going to use this to summon my evil twin, Leon, and give him some commands. Next, we'll list out the different keywords that could command Leon. Uh, one will be for the trash. Another one will be for the evil plan. And finally, one for a sandwich. Now for each keyword, you can list uh, utterances. Utterances are the just different ways of being able to say the same thing. So for example, for the trash, we can say knock over that trash can. We could also say turn over that garbage bin. Now for each utterance, we'll record a few samples of me saying it out loud. That will be the basis for the personal keyword model. You can see right now we have zero recordings for the knock that key garbage bin over trash can. <laughs> click the arrow for the utterance we're going to record and then click the record button. The key to a personal keyword model with good recognition is to speak clearly, naturally, and with as little background noise and the highest quality input as you have access to. Let's record. Knock over that trash can. All right, first sample in the bag. Preview to make sure there's nothing weird in the backgrounds and that my microphone inputs sound good. Knock over that trash can. All right, good to go. Click upload. All right, let's do another one. Hit record and say the utterance. Knock over that thing over there. Oh, shoot. <laughs> let's flub that line. Let's try it again. Knock over that trash can. Knock over that trash can. Okay, sounds good after previewing. Let's go ahead and upload. One more to go before I hit the minimum number of sample recordings for this utterance. Knock over that trash can. Click upload for the last one, and we can exit out of this utterance. Click the left arrow to go back to our list of utterances. Let's click, let's work on turn that turn over that garbage bin. Click record. Turn over that garbage bin. Turn over that garbage bin. Last one. Turn over that garbage bin. We'll Turn over that garbage bin. All right. Looks good. We'll go back out of that utterance to the keyword. And from that keyword, we'll go back to the evil plan. Next, we'll record uh, the evil plan and for the sandwich. See you guys in a bit. All right, welcome back. Thanks to the magic of editing, I'm done recording my keyword utterances. Actually, okay, I left and came back. You don't have to do this all in one go. You can exit recordings at any time and your progress is being saved as you go. Now that I have three samples of that last utterance, we can exit the recording and go train my evil twins keyword recognizer model. Click train to send our samples off to the army of machine learning computers to do their magic. If you look down at the bottom of this training screen, you can see the very beginnings of the dark blue progress bar. Depending on traffic, a model will train in about 15 minutes. Whoa, that was a fast 15 minutes. Training is done. And you can see our model is now available. We have our CDN network links that you can download and use in your software. We also still have our list of utterances and keywords that we can use. And it's now available in our spotlight so we can test it out. Let's make sure that he can hear me. Initiate evil plan alpha. Great, confidence level of 99.8%. Wonderful. If I wanted to improve it even more, I could audit my existing utterances for accuracy and uh, 
background noise, I can also supplement them with some more. More data is always better with machine learning. Okay, that's it. Now I have my own personal way to activate my evil twin, Leon. Unlike me, use it for good and not for evil.